What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Nick back today with another episode of Nick's Shoe Review and more. And today, we got another package in. All right, before we get to the unbagging of today, if you uh, watched my first ever shoe review, I reviewed the Suguru Men's Barefoot hiking shoes that I purchased off Amazon. Um, I like that these are super flexible. They give you that kind of barefoot feel. They have a thick uh, insole in them that is removable if you want to feel a little more connected to the ground. But these things are super rugged, durable. They're the only shoes I've worn for about a week, taking them all over the place. Uh, the soles on them are nice and thick, gives you a lot of protection. And the reason I've was interested in those Sugurus is because I am a massive fan of these little guys. These are the Fit Kicks that you can get off Amazon or some stores actually sell them. Um, these are the definition of minimalist shoes. It's just a spandex top. There's a little elastic band to kind of hold it securely to your feet. And on the bottom, it's just a, I would say probably somewhere between five and eight millimeter thick uh, rubber sole. And that's that's all there is to the shoe. So you're really walking barefoot in these. So my For You page, as you can expect, is filled with some of these nonsense shoes, which led me to purchasing these. These are the, these are the Jayaski Barefoot Beach Sport Shoe. Um, they do look like water shoes. They do not have vent holes on the bottom to drain water. Kind of see here on the bottom. But what I liked about these shoes was the, the sole on them appears to be a little bit thicker than it does on the, on the fit kick. Um, it's about, I would say at least two to three times as thick as the fit kicks, but it's not as thick as these Siguru hiking shoes. Um, so yeah, we're gonna put them on, see what it's all about. These are very similar to the Fit Kicks. They do have a, a spandex elastic top. The toe is actually a different material. It's like a mesh material. And then obviously the soles quite a bit thicker. And there is a reinforcement fabric here on the back. Almost feels like a really light duty foam, maybe hold up to the to the heel a little bit better than some of the other shoes. And then they do have a removable insole in them. So yeah, I'm gonna throw these on, go walk around, then we'll pop back on and uh, give you my thoughts and review on these, uh, on these little bad guys. All right, guys, so my final thoughts on these little bad boys right here. Um, to make it short, I love them. I, I, I absolutely love these shoes. Um, I, I have a lot of these, uh, you know, slip-on barefoot minimalist type shoes, like 15 pairs of them, and they're about all I wear. And out of the, uh, out of the bag, these are by far the most comfortable of the bunch. I don't know if it's due to the the thicker insole or it has a little bit, I guess, more foamy, more cushy um, insert on there, but these are fantastic. I wasn't sure when I first opened them because of the, uh, the soles are this foam rubber synthetic material. Roswell, come here. Come here, up, 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 yeah. The soles on these are this uh, foam rubber synthetic material. I wasn't too crazy about that when I first got them, but I'm not gonna use these for, you know, hiking or anything where, you know, grip on the bottom of the shoes is all that super important. So I think it should be fine 
just as I wear these around, you know, daily, mostly walking on pavement, sometimes grass, nothing crazy in these, but I mean, these are the most comfortable of all of the, uh, these barefoot slip on shoes that I've bought and I just love them. You know, they're not for everybody. If you can't get over the, uh, the looks or the questions of why you're wearing socks as shoes, then you probably shouldn't probably shouldn't uh, rock these on the daily basis. You can wear these, you know, like a water park or something like that. But if you're truly looking to transition away from normal shoes into a more barefoot type thing, this would be a fantastic first step because you do get all the flexibility, all the freedom of movement, the zero drop, everything you're looking for at a super, super affordable price point. And it's not straight to being barefoot on the hard ground. These are thick, they're heavy duty, uh, the padding is good, stepped on a few rocks, cracks, nothing really bothered me at all about these. So I would give these five out of five stars. Highly recommend them. Um, I think they're cute too, which that doesn't hurt. So yeah, if you're at all looking at anything like this or just starting out on that journey, seeing what it's all about, I would highly recommend picking these up over just about any of the other similar options that you find on Amazon. And I'm not a paid endorser. I bought these myself to review them because I love them. So yeah, thanks for checking out Nick's Shoe Review. I'm Nick. As always, like and subscribe. Hit that share button for the algorithm. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time.